Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm back in playing Stars World Academy. Uh, I'm with Polly and Ty. Going for some school tour or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's basically what's happening. So yeah. Let's get into it. Uh, as Polly opens the front doors of the building in front of us, we are greeted with hallways that stretch out to meet several classrooms. Way down the hall, I can see a stairwell leading to other floors with students sparsely populating the patches. I don't see one, one single student, but that's fine. Oh, there's one. That's uh, Polly, I think. Yeah. Welcome to the main school building. Here is the centre of knowledge in the whole, web, whole school. You'll find teachers' books, notes, sometimes lockers, and chalkboards. They are really important things to learn. Whatever. Those are really important learning things. Whatever. <laughs> Same as what I said. Uh, I don't think the chalkboards are the important part. Uh, I think I think you think you might be mistaken, Ty. I think they are the most important part of learning. That's just that's, uh, that's just my opinion, but sure. What am I doing? I'm just rambling. Sorry. Uh, well, of course they are silly. If you didn't have them, we wouldn't have accessible boards to take notes off of. They're a very important part of the curriculum. Sure. I don't think the girl knows exactly what she's talking about. Nah, no, she look. Mm. No, she does. Oh, I trust her. I trust her. She's a bit kind of be close again, though. Though I've heard that the school is looking into fancy new screen boards. Like, you better write directly onto them and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they've already got them. Can't you do that already? Isn't that the same as a chalkboard? Yeah, but with these new boards, everyone could see the notes at once. That's how it is already. <laughs> yeah, really? I've been hearing, hearing that it's mostly a budget issue, though. It seems the school is trying to save up for them. So chances are we won't be seeing them this year. Isn't this supposed to be like a really expensive, prestigious school? How can they not afford like electronic whiteboards or whatever you call them? Boards. That's just ridiculous, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe at the class reunions we could all stare in awe at how awesome the new stuff is. Sure, sounds sounds like fun. At this rate, I don't think I'll be attached enough to this school to care about it. Going to a reunion? No. Still though, the classes are something you're going to get used to seeing real fast. A school day is never done until you've seen them at least once, so this part of the tour will be a little short. But I know exactly what to show you next. It's super duper amazingly breathtaking. I poly guarantee it. Wow. This this is going to be good. I can tell. And with that, she bounces off once more in a whirlwind. Are we going to follow her? Everyone in this game's got loads of energy. Except for him. Look at him. He's just... Whoa. He's not he's just like the most depressed person on here. Like, my gosh, Tom. Okay, yeah. I guess it's, it's hard being depressed. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Alright, anyway. <laughs> that girl has a lot of energy, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Looking at Ty, she's biting the nail off her thumb. A nervous habit of hers it seemed to have started doing as well lately. You okay? Ty? You alright? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. She's not fine. That's what everyone says when they're not fine. The look of worry on her face quickly disappears and she seems to be back to her normal self. Come on, let's follow after her before she drags us by force. I can't help but wonder if Ty is really on board for this whole tour thing, but my mind can't seem to focus on anything other than moving forward. Sure. This is a lovely garden. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love the red tree. We follow Polly. Polly's bouncing to the door, to our door, in the back of the building, stepping through a rather surprisingly sight. Reads us an impressively sized garden. It is impressive. Plants of all types sprout out from everywhere. I spot a couple of students passing through the grove, enjoying it much like I am. I'm yet to see another student apart from Polly and Ty. I'm disappointed. I'm bitterly disappointed with that. But sure. Let me click. The garden split into sections. One section dedicated to all types of flowers, one to bushes, and another to shrubberies. There's even a section filled with vegetables growing neatly. Towards the back of the garden, I can see several small shacks, two looking like a, like tool sheds and the others looking like greenhouses. All in all, it's actually a rather incredible sight to behold, and not one I was expecting for a school like this. 
I, what do you mean? Of course a prestigious school's gonna have a nice garden. Tom, you're an idiot. Just, just, no, you're an idiot, man. Okay, well, <laughs> before the school's garden. Behold the school's garden. It has every kind of plant you could ever think of to research. Look at or eat. Can you eat, like, trees like that? I don't think that's what she meant, but sure. I highly doubt it does every kind of plant. Ty, just, just, just stop bringing the mood down. Just, <laughs> whatever. Well, that's true, I suppose. Super duper rare types of plants elude us. But we have most of the common types of plants from around the world. And we, all, we always import new ones every year to either add or to or replace old plants. Okay, sure. Really, it all depends on how many students want to participate in the agriculture studies. Wow, well, these size... With this... With what? What? Wow, look, with the size of this garden, that must be a lot of students. Well, I hear that this year it's less students than in previous years, but it makes them no less important. It's even an agricultural club, though I hear the students have dwindled from it as well. Well, that's sad. That's not really. I mean, who wants to be in a, like, a plant club? That's weird. It's such an expensive and well-maintained garden, you would think it'd be bi a bigger draw for the students. I mean, who likes gardening? I mean, really, just whatever. Like I said, it has been, just not recently. Honestly, I see more people looking at their phones and video games than in books and walking around. That probably has something to do with it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. That's a shame. Maybe I'll join the club taking care of the plants. Sounds relaxing. And their organisation could use a little work. Perhaps organisation Organising by genus or species, what do you think, Tom? I mean, that, that sounds incredibly boring. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me, I don't know a thing about that stuff. That'd be awesome if you did, that could use, they could use the help. Though in a moment, Polly's face lightens up and she grabs our wrists again. Okay, cool, quick, get behind the bush, what are we doing? What are we doing? Now Flash, Ty and I find herself, find our visions filled with foliage. Yeah, Polly, what the hell? What the hell, man? Shh, you'll scare the animals. What animals? Fucking hell. As I try to shake the leaves out of my hair, Polly puts up a pair of monoculars. Animals, where? I don't see any. Where? Polly, Polly's binocular gaze. It's easy to see what she's looking at. In the distance, there appears to be a girl tending to some animals. Oh, who's she? I kind of recognize her for some reason. I don't know why. One of the one of the ponies, I think. Surely. <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. First thing I notice is the striking pink hair that reaches down to her waist. Her poly is darker and more vibrant. Her hair looks soft and looks like it's glowing in the sunlight. Oh, she's beautiful. She's feeding some goats that are by the side of the main building, as well as a few other small critters smaller critters. I think even the squirrels came by to have a bite to eat. What does the campus need with goats though? It's weird seeing live animals on a school campus. Go goats are like lawnmowers, it's just not beautiful, man. Though I can tell one thing for sure, those animals really seem to like her. I can't tell that because I can't see any of the animals, I just see her like, with the stupid grin on her face. Polly, who's that? Her name is Faith Summers. She's in charge of making sure all the animals on campus are kept fed and healthy. Oh, that sounds like a great job. Why do you guys have animals on campus? They're part of the agricultural club too, though, through a different section. There's a bunch of other animals in sheds back there. She seems happy with it. Besides, she also has friends like me and Robbie to help her out if she ever needs it. So it all works out. Then why are we fucking holding behind these bushes? Why can't we? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm like, not getting angry. I'm, not, I'm actually really having fun. True. See, well, that's good. Yep, yep, I'd introduce you two personally, but she's a little busy with the animals for now. And they get a little skittish around new people. So we'll save it for later. Come on, there's more for us to still see. So, see still. Okay, she's looking weird. This time Polly grabs her wrist and drags herself quickly. I think I'm starting to get used to it. As I look back, I notice fa that Faith has turned to watch us sprinting away. Alright, see you, Faith. Catch you later. Okay, I need to take a breath. We've been, we've lots, lots of things have happened. Not really, but whatever. <laughs> Past 
passing through the garden quickly, we emerge on the other side, directly in front of us is track field. It seems rather busy though, and there's a lot of students already running laps around the course. Still, no students in sight. Looks like they're warming up. Any questions, you two? Questions? I wasn't expecting that. I thought she was just going to talk forever. Oh yeah, she seems like the type, doesn't she? Though one thing keeps bothering me. Not, well, maybe. The balloon on your uniform. Does everyone have something like that? Oh, you two haven't heard about it. No, we haven't. Well, I have, but I haven't. She gasps in mock surprise. At least I think it's a mock surprise. Could be a real thing. Okay. <laughs> now that you mention it, I think Dixie had a pin too. She did. Her nose scrunches up while she tries to remember. She does that when a piece of information escapes her. It doesn't happen often, but I have to say she looks kind of cute when she does it. No, she doesn't. Bah, bah. It's a nice change from her normal demeanor. It's a club insignia. You have a balloon, so party committee? Polly laughs. Oh no, oh ho, close, this student. This, my student, Flair, is not an official, as official as a student club. But, but she got really quiet when she said the last part. Is it really necessary to whisper about something that you can see in plain as day on her uniform? She's acting like talking about it is punishable with death. No, she's not, she's just got this weird face. All right, headmaster. Salomon mentioned it once as a symbol representing the person's personality or hobby. Alright. Bingo, that's right. Ty is just beaming. She really does enjoy being right, even for something as trivial, trivial as this. <sighs> okay. This, this, this is very long-winded, but sure. Every year, the first years are presented with their own flair at the Fall Festival. It's given to them by the upperclassmen who's gotten to know them the best. But you two are new, so we'll pretend you're first years. So if you hang out with the school band, you'll probably end up with a tuba or something. It's usually pretty personal, though. So why have you got a balloon? Can you tell me? She points at Flair. No, her Flair. I'm head cheerleader, but my Flair has nothing to do with cheerlead cheering. Well, unless I bring balloons, which I sometimes do. <laughs> mm, I need to find balloons. <laughs> Alright, she stares off into space. I'm like this is in the handbook. I've read it six times. Wow. I haven't read it once. Why do I get the feeling she understand? she's understating that number? Oh, duh, it wouldn't be. Why not? Yeah, you said it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, sure. Bingo part two, electric bingo. What? I've never heard bingaloo before. That's, that's, wow. My mind is blown. <laughs> anyway, what? But it's part of the uniform. No, it's not silly. It's entirely off the record. Real hush-hush. The school just doesn't do anything about it. It's been a tradition for a super long, long time. Hush-hush. Is it she for real? Didn't Ty just say the head? Master Salomon told her about it? Yeah. I think the tradition's older than the school, actually. How's that even? What do the teachers do about it? But you just said head Master Salomon. Well, I'm just scared out. My head is just... really minds. One time I even saw Miss Salomon compliment a student on that. Sure. Hi. So I'll be getting one too? Of course, everybody gets one. Yeah, I'll be a book. it'll be a bookworm. <laughs> oh, the banter begins again. So I look as she smelled something gross. What? No, I don't want a worm on my uniform. She tenses up like there's an actual worm on her shirt. Oh, I wouldn't worry. As long as you get to know someone, you're bound to get something super awesome. Nate, hey, so what happens if you don't end up getting to know someone or who already has their flair? Well, it doesn't happen often. But it does happen. Uh, there were three blanks left. Wow, that's, that's embarrassing. Blank. I'm definitely going to get mine. She looks determined. I think she's getting too worked up over this. I wonder, though. I hope there's... I hope there's no... Do blanks get treated the same? It seems like something that might cause teasing. Polly looks a bit more subdued while we talk about it. I swear, she's deflated a little bit. Balloon <laughs> Ah, oh, good joke, eh? I like it. I like it. Honestly, they're harder on themselves than anyone else is. There's always a few students who enjoy poking fun, but it's not any worse than anything else they could tease someone for. 
There's also no rule saying that a blank can't just assign themselves a flair if they really want to do. Really, so I can decide what mine is right now. Well, yeah, but what's special about that? What do you mean? That perked her back up a bit. She's all buddy again. The flair is part, she's just part of it. Finding out who gives you your flair is half the fun. She traces the balloon on her uniform, absent mind completely. So who gave you your flair? Polly smiles. It isn't her goofy smile. It's like she's remembering something bittersweet. It's strange. Like she's a different person all of a sudden. That's no good either. You can't just ask someone that. They're sort of intimate. It's like showing how much you care about someone. I see, so a flair can be a very personal thing. Hence why she didn't outright say who it was that gave her her flair, I guess. Exactly. So th did the blanks end up choosing their own flair? No, three of them from last year have begun agonising over finding their own special talent. They want to earn theirs from their classmates. That's admirable. Helps not. It's lame. Just fuck it. Just no. Just own. We're having none. That's what I'll do. Hmm. They're really focused too. There's that goofy smile again. Polly releases an exaggerated glass pointing to the track. Students are running now. They're obviously finished warming up while we were talking. Oh, see, she seems to be doing well. Who? Who is? Polly clears her throat. So as you can see, this is the Starswell Academy award-winning track and field area. Only the best of the best from other schools can compete at this track. And our students that use it always put up the best performance. So she's just going to ignore Ty's question now then. Huh? Alright, I think I'm going to ignore the rest of this and uh, have, a, have a break. Because uh, I'm getting tired of reading, to be honest. And so...